you're in a toxic relationship or you're feeling like you're in one, you're ready to cut the cord, call it quits, end it, walk away and stick around. I'm hoping that what I offer you today will help you decide whether or not you need to pack your stuff and go or pack their stuff and go. Let's go hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. What do you say? Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. I know some of you guys may have heard some of this stuff before, but sometimes your wires get crossed and you don't really get it until you get it. You know, so reflect on these questions and these things I'm sharing with you and be honest with yourself. Okay. Look for this over time. If it's over time consistently, then you know what I'm going to say. That's right. Hit the road, Jack or Jill. The first thing, you know, it might be time to leave if you've tried to end it already multiple times, but yet you keep going back. They keep coming back, you keep going back, and you just can't seem to make up your minds. Furthermore, you gotta get to a place where you can accept what is, not what you want it to be. Challenge the fantasy, all right? Replace excuses for what is, all right? Instead of, oh, well this, or oh, well that, or blah, 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 blah. What you, say? you can't bank on potential. There's no guarantee a person's going to fulfill the potential that you might see in them. And if you can't see yourself, being happy as things are right now for the rest of your life. It's probably time to cut the cord. Which brings me to my next point, okay? Are you suspicious of their motivations when they do something nice for you? You're like, what do you want? Hmm, this is weird because it rarely happens. Are you hanging on to scraps, hoping for more? That's very reflective of holding on to that potential, right? You're like, oh, well, he did something nice for me or she did something nice for me that one time at band camp. Is it consistent over time, this pattern of doing something nice occasionally? Maybe when you're about to walk out the door, hmm? As soon as you got your bag packed or you packing their bags, all of a sudden everything changes and they're gonna work on it, all the things. Honey, don't kid yourself, all right? Be real. Oh, baby, don't be so chill. I know it might be hard to digest some of this stuff, okay? You may not like the exercise, but you like the result, okay? Same thing here. Now, I have many more for you, so don't go anywhere, all right? Stay put, stay put, stay put. But before I move on, if you've been in a toxic situation or an abusive situation and you were able to walk away and cut ties and move on with your life, leave a comment down below. Your story could very much empower someone else to do the same, all right? So don't hold back. Okay, right then, moving on. Challenge yourself with this question as well. Are you reaching your full potential in this relationship? Does this situation hold you back from other pursuits, career, hobbies, spending time with friends and family, trips, whatever the case may be? Okay, do you have dreams that haven't been fulfilled? Or maybe you're afraid that if you do, then this person will walk away. If that's holding you back, oof, man, you need to get those scissors and nip, 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 all right? Now I know that's a hard pill to swallow for some of you, but you gotta be honest, because if not, you're gonna stay exactly where you are. Which brings me to the next question, are you the best version of yourself in this relationship? Look at your other relationships, look at how you're performing at work or at school or how you are around your friends and your family. If you feel like you aren't the best version of yourself since you've been in this relationship, it's probably time to walk away. What you say, All right, let's say that you have recognized several of the things I've mentioned so far and you're like, okay, this is great, Miss Keisha, but what do I do? I don't feel like I can do it. I feel stuck. I'm in quicksand. Help. Fear not. I got you. This next question might help you find that motivation to move forward and kick that person to the curb, all right? Ask yourself this, if it were your child in the future or someone that you care about very deeply and they were in a relationship like yours, would you be happy for them? Would you be able to sit by, watch this happen and unravel with someone you care about? And be honest with yourself, okay? Don't overthink it. What was your initial response? Was it no? If it was no, then you know what I'm gonna say. Also try to explore what's keeping you in it. Identify what needs you think are being met 
in this situation that might be keeping you stuck and do your best to try to fulfill those for yourself, all right? So that could be financial, it could be social, it could be intimacy or perceived intimacy. What are those areas that might be keeping you drawn or stuck in this situation and how might you be able to fulfill those for yourself? If you can find ways to fulfill those things for yourself, you're gonna be able to feel more empowered to walk away. You're not gonna be as dependent on that person. Now, let's say you do get to the point, you're recognizing these things and you're like, all right, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go, I gotta move on. I gotta get this guy or this girl out of my space, all right? I got a couple more good questions for you that you can ask yourself and some things to think about to help you take that step and free yourself from this nonsense, all right? This one you really want to reflect deeply and spend some time answering this question. Are you sacrificing your feelings of worth and value to maintain this relationship? Because the less you feel worthy, the worse you feel about yourself, the more likely you're going to stay even though you know it's bad and you got to go. All right? So ask yourself that. Be honest. Don't lie to yourself. Okay, those lies to yourself is probably what's making it so much more difficult. Another one, you know it's bad, but yet you stay. Your friends, your family are telling you that you're not yourself, you seem off, and you just don't seem to be happy. Okay, so it might be simple, but pay attention. Do you feel it's bad? If it's bad, and you're here watching this video, seeing if it's time to leave, and if it's too toxic to fix, and it's not gonna get better, then maybe you got your answer there, okay? You must be joking. Which brings me to another point. Toxic relationships are more about your relationship with yourself than it is about the other person. If you're allowing an unhealthy pattern or you're stuck in an unhealthy pattern, you know you're miserable, then the deeper question that is important for you to answer for yourself is what makes you feel or think that you deserve this kind of treatment or this kind of relationship? If you feel worthy and you feel that you are of value, then what would make you stay? I know it can be painful and I understand how hard it can be. However, you got to measure that long-term pain and anguish against that momentary, temporary pain that you're going to feel after walking away from a situation. And yeah, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt like hell at first, but you can get through it. And oftentimes that fear of that pain of separating can keep you stuck. Whereas that pain that you might feel from leaving is much more temporary than it would be if you stuck it out, all right? No matter how many beautiful times you've had, no matter how much you've laughed, no matter how many times they did something nice for you occasionally or were there when nobody else was, those things are probably very few and far between if all this other stuff is going on. No amount of people telling you is gonna help you move on, all right? You have to decide for yourself if it is worth the sacrifice of your self-worth and your value. And if you don't see that, then ask yourself what the reason is for that. Do some exploration, find some support, and love yourself enough to know when it's time for you to let something go. All right? Okay then. Well, I hope this was helpful today, and I will see you guys soon. And until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved.